Hello friends, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today in this video, I will explain what kind of diet a kidney failure patient should take to lower down the level of creatinine and urea. Diet play a very important role in the treatment of kidney failure patient. Even the 50% part of the treatment is based on diet. With the help of diet, we can control a lot of things in any kidney failure patient like creatinine, urea, potassium. Now you might be thinking how? So let's start with how we can control creatinine in a kidney failure patient with the help of diet. Creatinine is a waste protein produced by the muscle during muscle metabolism. If a patient takes more protein than the daily requirement, then this extra protein gets converted into creatinine in the muscles and it will be reflected in the reports. So it is advised to all kidney failure patients to cut down the extra amount of protein to control the level of creatinine. Now the question arises, how much amount of protein should be given to a kidney failure patient? Now the answer is, it depends upon the condition of a individual. If the total protein in the blood reports are in the normal range, then we have to go for light protein diet. In light protein diet, very less amount of protein, only limited amount of protein is given to the patient. Just enough so that body can perform daily body functions properly. If blood report shows lesser amount of protein in blood, then we have to cover this deficiency of protein with diet. Even if the level of creatinine goes up, reason is in the deficiency of protein, patients suffer from multiple complications like anemia, pleural effusion, and we don't want any patient to suffer. So in such cases, protein intake should be higher. Now another question arises, what kind of protein is safe for a kidney failure patient? So I advise all kidney failure patients to take protein from a vegetarian source or milk as it is lighter and they don't get any kind of extra waste in the body. And it is easier to maintain the level of creatinine with the help of right protein intake. In vegetarian protein, you can take pulses, little amount of milk on alternative day basis. This much amount of protein will be sufficient to maintain all the functions of the body which are dependent on the protein intake. Now I hope you are clear that if we control the protein intake, we can control the creatinine formation in the body. Now let's move to urea. Urea is a nitrogenous phase produced by the liver during food metabolism. And the amount of urea secreted by liver is dependent upon what kind of food we have if patient take heavy food item like fried food or heavy protein, the more urea will be released through the liver because the heavy protein and fat are hard to digest by the body and liver has to work extra and more urea will be released in the bloodstream. As kidney are not functioning well, all extra urea will be accumulated in the body and eventually it will cause complication in the kidney failure patient. Now let's move to potassium. Most of the kidney failure patient don't understand increased level of potassium is very lethal as high level of potassium may cause sudden heart attack because potassium is a substance which gives power to the muscles to move when the potassium is in the range. But when the level of potassium increases in any individual, it causes fatigue in the muscles. As our heart is also made up of muscles which make it beat each and every second to pump the blood in our whole body gets impacted. So when potassium increases, the muscle movements go slow and sometimes it makes sudden heart attack. That's why potassium has to be controlled in the diet of a kidney failure patient. Now potassium is present in each and every eatable item. In few items, potassium is high. In few food items, it is low. So we have to select those food items that are low in potassium. Now the question arises, which food item contains potassium in high amount so that patient can avoid it? So let's start with vegetables. Vegetable which is grown below the surface of earth and is brown in color like potato, sweet potato, beetroot has to be avoided completely because as they contain potassium in high amount. Along with the brown duty vegetable, we have to avoid green leafy vegetables like spinach, coriander, parsley, as the leaf of any plant contains potassium in high concentration. 
few leaf of parsley or coriander for garnishing purpose is okay but when the patient make paste of them and use it in any kind of recipe the concentration of the potassium increases and in very small amount of that paste high amount of potassium goes inside the body that's why i advise all my patient of kidney failure to avoid leafy vegetables now let's move to fruit in category of fruits we have to avoid coconut banana kiwi avocado all kind of dry fruit as they contain potassium in high amount now on your screen i am presenting complete list of fruit and vegetable that has to be avoided a link to a diet chart is also available in the description box of this video you can avoid these fruits and vegetables and rest of the fruits and vegetable can be taken by any kidney failure patient as they are contain potassium in normal amount now i am giving a list of other food item that has to be avoided completely as they contain very dangerous amount of potassium number 1 is low sodium salt as it contains 15% potassium chloride second item is jaggery third item is fruit juice you have to avoid all these three items completely if you are still confused you can also take a help of google simply search the term food item name followed by the potassium content like if i want to know the amount of potassium in an apple simply write on the search bar of the google apple potassium content if potassium content is below 200 or around 200 that means that food item can be taken by kidney failure patient above 200 potassium containing food item has to be avoided i hope you are very clear what should be done to control the level of potassium in a kidney failure patient now let's move to the amount of fluid that can be taken by kidney failure patient amount of fluid depends upon multiple factors if kidney failure patient take less amount of fluid then the body become dehydrated kidney will be unable to produce enough amount of urine as you know ketamine and urea can only escape body through urine without good urine output the ketamine level and urea level will increase and if the patient of kidney failure take large amount of fluid as kidney are not functioning well extra fluid will accumulate in the body causing several complication so right amount of fluid is necessary for each and every kidney failure patient and that varies patient to patient if you are suffering from any kind of swelling in legs what we call it pedal anemia that means body contains fluid in extra amount we suggest such patient to cut down the fluid intake and increase the urine output so that net fluid inside the body goes down suppose in a day patient has taken 500 ml of fluid and created 1000 ml of urine that means 500 ml of the fluid has been reduced in such a patient but if you are not suffering from any kind of pedal edema that means body hydration is okay in such cases we advise kidney failure patient to take sufficient amount of water but one thing has to be taken care of only take 100 ml of fluid in a single go you can take 100 ml of fluid multiple time in a day but make sure that there is a gap of 15 to 20 minutes between each and every intake this helps the body to remain sufficiently hydrated and doesn't cause any kind of work pressure on the failing kidneys now with the help of diet we can also control the condition of metabolic acidosis in the kidney failure patient but before that you have to understand what is metabolic acidosis for that i will make a separate video so that it will be easier for you to understand why the level of ketamine increases very rapidly once it starts in the body now i hope you have understand that with the help of diet we can control ketamine urea potassium in a patient of a kidney failure if you have any kind of doubt inquiry regarding kidney failure you can simply send your reports to our doctor team and they will help you out with this allow me say goodbye see you in the next video till then take care